Hello and welcome to another video here at Boriyali. Ever since we've launched Jasmineite in India, it has taken our community by storm. Today, we are going to walk you through five easy techniques to take your Jasmineite art to the next level. We also have some good news for you. Jasmineite AC730 is soon going to be available for orders in India. We're really excited by the possibilities with that product. For today, we're going to be using the Jasmonite AC100 to create these beautiful pieces. If you like our content, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions related to the project, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. The five techniques that we're going to be working with today are going to be marbling effect in this beautiful trinket mold, the gold dust technique in this Moroccan mold by Goldline Artistry. Pour over pour in this polygon planter mold. Three color pour in soap dish mold. And the last and probably my favorite, the ombre finish in the cylinder mold. The first technique that we're going to start with today is a very beginner friendly technique. We're going to start with the marbling effect. It's one of the easier ones to do. Uh, the colors that we're going to go with is going to be a terracotta and white. We have our jasmonite uh, powder plus liquid ready over here in the correct ratio that we need. We're not going to go into deep about how much jasmonite you're going to require, how to mix it, all of that. For that, you can refer to our other videos. So I'll start mixing uh, the jasmonite mix. I'm going to just put the liquid into the powder and I'll use the high shear mixing blade. So this blade, mixing with the blade just ensures that the material mixes very, very well. There are no lumps. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going to scrape the sides and we're good to go. So now that my mix is ready, I'm going to... So for marbling effect, uh, what I tell people here at the Jasmineite open house or whenever I am teaching someone to do it, I for the marbling, you need what I say a base color and the streaking color. So my base color will be the maximum of the color, which will be terracotta color. And for the streaking, I'm going to use white. So I'm just going to remove about 30% of my entire mix into this glass here. This is for my streaking shade. So I've removed about 30% out here and now I'm going to add to the main mix what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the terracotta color I want a nice color that looks almost like chocolate so I won't go too heavy with the pigment at first you always want to add little by little so I have a beautiful terracotta color ready this is a standard this is the standard jasmonite terracotta that I've used. And now I'm going to add white for my streaking shade. So now it's very simple. I have here my streaking shade that's the white and the terracotta color over here. I've just broken this candy stick to give me like a sharp edged stick that I'm going to use, you'll see, to streak. Now, it's very simple. We have a base color and we have a streaking color. What we're looking to do is pour maybe half of our streaking shade into the terracotta like this. And then we're going to give this a light twirl. You don't want to give it too much of a twirl. Otherwise, what ends up happening is the terracotta and the white 
ends up mixing with each other. We do not want that. We just mix this together and then we pour. You can already see. And as the white has stopped coming, I'll add more of it into the terracotta. Like that, so I'm going to slightly fold it in and pour again. And you can already see there's a beautiful marble effect that's being formed as we speak while pouring into the mold. You can do this in any form, you can do it in three colors, two colors, with whatever color you like, it works well. Once we've got the jasmonite in, we're just going to tap the entire mold. So that we have jas even jasmonite on all corners of the mold. So now let's move on to the next technique. I'm going to set this aside for now. I can feel it's already has started to cure. I'm excited to demold it. Let's move on to the next technique now. This is one of my favorites. This is the pour over pour. So we literally will have one color in one mug and another in the other one and we literally pour over each other. You will see in a bit. We're going to use the polygon mold for this technique and I am looking to make a violet, a purple color and a white color. I'm going to use, I'm going to make the purple color by mixing some of the jasmonite bright red and blue together. It will give a beautiful purple, purple color. I have uh, the pre-mixed material so we can start. So I'll just start by, we'll again be working with two colors similar to the marble effect. I will start by making our smaller portion a white so now that i have my white color go ahead and make the other color a awesome purple i'll put about three drops of red and about two of blue and we mix i love how these two shades give an awesome purple color together just to make it slightly darker i'm going to add a touch one drop of black so how this goes is that I'm going to simply pour this material and while we do that, I'll pour the second one on top of it. So they sort of start to mix and you can already see there's a beautiful overlapping. So for the last bit, I'm going to just remove it out with a candy stick. We just want to make sure that the entire mold is filled to the brim. It might be a little messy, but it's important that it should be done. We ensure to tap again. Perfect, we're done with this technique. 
and I'm super pumped to demold this. This is one of my favorite ones as I had said before. I'm just going to set this aside for now and we'll move on to our next technique. So for our next technique, we're going to use the Moroccan mold. This is by Goldline Artistry. A bunch of our molds are available on our website. They're really nice. Um, the effects, the quality of the mold, they're really nice. And I like this mold a lot. What I call the gold dust technique. We're going to use our Haxins mica pearls. I have some special gold in my sieve over here. And I'm very gently going to tap some I'm going to very gently tap some of the powder over the mold, very gently. So you can put more pigment if you want, you can put more pearl, but I like this sort of gentle effect. And the aim is to make sure you can do this evenly, you can do this in parts. Right now I will do it evenly everywhere. So you can already see that the gold is, you can see the gold everywhere, sprinkled lightly. And now we're gonna pour, I'm gonna go with teal color. We're gonna pour teal color. So I've got my favorite teal color ready. Because I work so much with resin, maybe that's why I like teal and jasmineite as well. But I think it really goes well, especially with this gold, you'll see. I'm gonna start by pouring it. We just want to pour it all over the mold. Once again, I'll just gently tap. You can see I've poured slightly excess material. It's almost two to three mm of material build up above the mold, but that's fine. For the next technique, we're going to do an ombre with pink color. Using pink color, we're going to do an ombre in the cylindrical mold. We're going to go from light to dark. So on the mold, once we demold, we'll be having the lighter shade on the top and the base will be dark. I'm going to use the jasmineite red color and white to get a pink shade. So I'm going to make this jug, whatever's in this, we'll make this into white first. And in this, we want to come up with a pink shade. So I'll add two drops of red, maybe one or two drops of white, and we mix. The idea here is to make a darker color in this mug, in this glass here, and a lighter shade. So you've already got a lovely pink, but we want a slightly darker pink, so I'm going to add One more of red. So I'm going to first pour some white into this so that that goes to the bottom. And then you will see, I'll start adding a bit of pink into the white. This is much darker. And as I add this into this, it will get darker and darker. So for now, you need to make sure that you pour only in the center and the material go away, goes all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to just push this material to the sides help it along its way. You do not want any jasmonite on the top surface. And we tap a bit. And now we'll add pink. In here, mix this and get a light shade. Pour some of that. Tap and push that to the bottom. You 
you can see as I put layer on layer that's getting darker and darker and that's what I'm banking on to give that ombre effect push that to the bottom again make this color darker again push this to the bottom color darker and a last bit of the darkest pink right on top set this aside to tap uh, we call it the three color pour technique we're going to be using three different colors and we'll mix it in uh, one glass together and we pour that over the mold it gives a very nice different kind of effect you'll see in a bit we're going to use the soap dish mold i have my jasmonite pre-mixed over here I'm just going to divide it into three equal glasses and we'll make three colors. I'm going to go with black, green and white. The jasmineite green looks really nice, really beautiful. So I intend on using that. We'll start with the green. white black a little more green We're just going to pour the two colors side by side into the glass and because I don't have three hands, I'm also going to alternate with the white while pouring black. And I'll put a bit of green back in. And then we pour. We'll add a bit of white. three color pour as I call it you can see in the glass beautiful patterns created We'll start by demolding the first one, the marbling effect that we had done. I think I was quite excited to demold that one. It's fully cured now. Um, you can tell just by peeling some of the cured jasmonite of the sides of the mold. Let's get to demolding. You always want to place it 
down like this first release it slightly oh wow i can tell it's already looking super wow 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 this is so nice i love it and especially this mold the soft fillet that is it has from inside freaking fantastic you can see all the streaking we've been able to achieve with the white we'll move on to the next one this was the pour over pour one it has some jasmineite on the rim so satisfying to do this to break these tip bits of jasmineite off I'm going to slowly release some of it and then turn it upside down apply a bit of pores and sort of peel it off peel the silicone mold wow first looks look is amazing and then just slowly twist 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 and pull oof it's still a warm because i think it's still curing but it looks so good all of that distinctive white and violet the difference between the two shades are visible so well amazing so we'll do the next one now this is the teal with the golden sprinkled on top you need to be slightly gentle in demolding this wow so you can see a little bit of gold still remains on the mold but all of this gold on the teal is fantastic you can break all of this sides later but can you see the pearlescent effect that from some angles it looks only golden and from some angles it looks like it's something made of teal color now let's demold the ombre planter that we poured i think it's already looking beautiful i can see the different layers it needs a bit of strength Oh wow. It's a little hot. Wow. It looks like desert sands. It looks like clouds. It's pretty beautiful. It's come out so nice. Let's move on to demolding the next one now. So we'll demold our three-color pour now. I think it's going to look fantastic. I don't know if you can see, but already through the mold, I can see that some beautiful patterns have come up. Let's go. Wow. This is superb. I can see all three colors. I like the combination of the black and the green is looking really nice.
hope you enjoyed today's video. We use these techniques with Jasmineite in a lot of projects that we do and it always works for us. All you need to do is choose the correct color and the right technique for the project and it will work brilliantly for you. Do let us know what your favorite technique is in the comment section below. I hope you liked today's video. Jasmineite is available in different pack sizes on our website. This is the 3.5 kg kit. It is available on our website for orders. We have 10 basic jasmineite colors available which can be used to create any color. Do let us know what your favorite technique from today's video was in the comment section below. See you soon.